everyone, for today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite, my all-time favorite blushes. I get a lot of questions about my favorite cream blushes because I do a lot of cream makeup tutorials and natural looks on my channel, but I do love a good powder blush, so I decided to get my top five favorite cream blushes and my top five favorite powder blushes and put it all in one video. I'm not gonna do a rating system or do like number one, number two, number three. I'm just going to share with you guys what my favorite cream blushes are and what my favorite powder blushes are. The first cream blush that is my favorite is the Undone Beauty Lip to Cheek Palette in the shade Rosewood. I specifically adore this shade because I can wear it both on my lips and on the cheek it looks beautiful on both parts of my face. I recently took a little isolated trip to the mountains with my family and this was the only blush that I packed and I wore it constantly on my lips and on my cheeks during the trip. It just is so beautiful. I love the color. The formula of this is so beautiful, dewy, creamy, blendable pigmented, long wearing. It is a real big favorite of mine. It is so nice. The previous colors that Undone had were not my favorite, but Rosewood, Rosewood is a good one. So this cream blush might come as a surprise to you because I do not talk about the Stila convertible colors much at all. These are a pretty underrated cream blush in the cream blush world. This, however, was my first cream blush. This shade is Peony. Next to Rosewood, it makes Rosewood look really, really orange. Peony is sort of like a lighter pinky brown nude. I'd say it's pretty cool tone. It's a little bit too light to double as a cheek and lip product for me, but I love how it looks on the cheeks. It is really creamy and dewy and just has a beautiful finish. It's really long wearing. It layers really nicely on top of makeup. So I do really like the Stila convertible colors, especially in the shade Peony. The next cream blush formula that I really like are the Honest Beauty cream blushes. I specifically like the shades Plumberry and I like the shade Rose Pink. They're very different shades. I like Plumberry because I can wear it as a lip and cheek tint. I like this formula for the same reasons I like the other formulas. They're beautiful, they're dewy, they're healthy on the skin. That is Plumberry and that is Rose Pink. Rose Pink also is a little bit too pale to wear on my lips for my preference, but it is beautiful on the cheeks. I love both of these so much. Let's see what they look like mixed together, because I'm a big mixer. I love mixing stuff together. Ooh, that's what the shade looks like mixed together. Big fan of that. That would be something I would wear on my lips for sure. But yeah, I really like the formula of these. I think they are a really great cream cheek product. They look super healthy, dewy, beautiful, glowy on the skin. They are also pretty long wearing in my opinion and really comfortable on the skin. You probably saw this one coming, but obviously the Glossier Cloud Paints make the cut for my top five favorite cream cheek products. These are definitely more of a liquidy formula, but I still would put them in the cream blush category. I love these. These are probably my favorite. I find them to be the most versatile. I like that they are in a liquid formula because I can mix them in with other products as well. I even mixed these in with a liquid eyeshadow the other day and it looked beautiful on my eyes. I also like how easy it is to mix with other shades. For example, my favorite combo of all time is Storm and Dusk in the Glossier Cloud Paint formula. I mix those together to create my dreamy shade that I wear both on my cheeks and on my lips. The formula of the Glossier Cloud Paints probably has the longest wear out of all of my cream blush options. It might not look as dewy as the other cream blush options, but they do look really healthy and natural on the cheeks. My next favorite cream blush formula is from Nude Sticks. This is the all over face bronzer. They call it a bronzer, but this is definitely a blush on me. This is in the shade Beach Babe. I like this formula because it is a stick, and I usually don't love stick blushes, but Nude Sticks makes a really nice cream blush in a stick form. Yeah, who is this a bronzer on? 
I don't know. This isn't a bronzer on anybody. But I always have a nice and easy application with the nude sticks. A lot of other cheek stick products will disrupt any makeup that I have on underneath, but I don't have that problem with the nude sticks formula, and I just really like the formula overall. I think that the color options are beautiful. I think they're really nicely pigmented. I think they're really nice and creamy and blendable, and they also are really long wearing, so I like these guys a lot. So moving on to my top five powder blushes. What I look for in a powder Powder blush is I like a matte formula but I like a creamy matte I it's almost more like a satin maybe I don't really like shimmer in my blushes I just find that if I am going to go for a shimmer it's going to be in my highlight and it's going to be in a very focused area I carry most of my texture right here on my cheeks so when I put blush on there and it, shim and it has shimmer in it, it kind of accentuates that area. Now there are shimmery blushes that I really like wearing, but I do prefer a matte finish blush, but I prefer the blush to be like a creamy matte. And you'll kind of be able to tell what I'm talking about when you see these blushes swatched. The first favorite blush of mine is the Clinique Cheek Pop in Fig Pop, specifically Fig Pop. It is gorgeous. I love a matching lipstick in this formula. This is actually my second cheek pop and I've made quite a dent in it because these do come raised. This formula I just love. You'll be able to see what I mean by like a satin matte formula because even though that is a matte blush, you can kind of see it still has like a healthy glow to it. So I just love that about this specific blush. It is so effortless and nice to put on my cheeks. Long wearing, beautiful. This is my go-to blush when I'm having a big day. The next formula of blush that I really like is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. I like the shade Seduce. My shade in high school was Blushing Bride. It was kind of more of like a mauve shade, but I really like Seduce for obvious reasons. Pinky brown nude going on here. The Amazonian Clay formula is a little bit drier than the other formulas that I really like, so you're not really going to get that satiny matte finish, but these blushes are so, so long wearing. I am having to go back and forth a little bit to kind of build up the color so you guys can see, but I don't mind building up a cheek product on my face because I want to be able to build it up and manipulate it exactly how I want instead of fearing that I'm going to get like a big splotch of color on my skin. So I like the Amazonian Clay blushes from Tarte because they are a buildable formula. They are a little bit more matte and a little bit more drying, but it is a powder. Um, but I do find that these blushes last so, so long, so I really like that about these blushes, and that is why it is in my top five. Another blush formula that I adore are the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blushes. My favorite one is in the shade Let's Go Nude, but I don't think that Bare Minerals sells this shade anymore which is pretty upsetting, but the other one that I really like is Call My Blush. Call My Blush is just a really cute pinky blushy shade. These are pretty pigmented blushes. They are matte also, but similarly to the Clinique Cheek Pop, they kind of have not like a satin finish, but I would say maybe like a soft matte finish. So that is Let's Go Nude, and then that is Calm My Blush. Like I said, they do have a matte finish, but it's a soft matte, so it will look really nice and natural and sort of diffused on the cheeks, and I just love this formula. Another powder blush formula that I adore are the MAC blushes. I love the shade range that the MAC blushes come in. They have such an extensive shade range. This shade is in Floor Power. This was actually a repurchase. This was my very first MAC blush shade. It looks like this. It's a little brighter than what I obviously usually wear. Also going into like my everyday MAC palette, I also love the shade Margin from MAC. This is more of a shimmer but it is stunning. It might not even show up on my hand, but like when you get it on the cheek, it's so so pretty. Kind of like a satin frost hybrid. This is not a blush that accentuates my texture, 
but oh it is just so pretty it gives like the most natural beautiful glow to the skin so I really like the Mac blush formula I think it's timeless I think a lot of Mac products are just that very timeless I think they have great shades to pick from I think the formula is a very high quality long wearing pigmented blendable buildable great and then my last favorite blush pick would be the Burt's Bees blush in the shade Bare Peach. I really like this shade. I also really like the formula. Again, it is sort of like a matte formula, but it kind of reminds me of the Gen Nude blushes from Bare Minerals. It is a little bit like of a softer matte, and it just looks beautiful. That's the color right there. It's a little bit hard to see on my hand, but it is going on my cheeks. My cheeks definitely represent color a little bit differently than the back of my hand does, but I just like this color. I think it gives a cute, subtle, peachy, bronzy look to the skin. And the formula is great too. It's really comfortable. It's really healthy looking. It's very blendable. It's pigmented enough and it just looks nice on the skin. So those were my top 10 favorite blush products, five cream, five powder. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys wanna see this with other products as well, maybe like a bronzer, I don't know if I could do five cream bronzers though but we'll see just like top five or top ten anything if you guys want to see more of those videos definitely let me know in the comments down below i'd also love to know what your top five cream blush products are and what your top five powder blush products are let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i see you next time